good morning. So today we're going to play some shark and lighthouse yoga. So all you will need is something to balance on your head, either a tea light or a small stuffed animal, whatever you have at home that you can use. And then we'll get started. I'm gonna explain the game first. So we'll be doing some ocean poses like this, such as the turtle, but every once in a while, we might find a lighthouse card. If we find a lighthouse card, that means that there's a shark coming and we need to get to our lighthouse for safety. So what we will do is we'll get on our mats, we'll place our tea light or animal on our head, and then we'll get into a lighthouse pose like this. Okay, if you want more of a challenge, you can balance on one foot. And we're going to do this until we spell out the word shark together. Okay, so here we go. S-H-A-R-K, shark. And then we can come out of our pose and continue with our game. Okay, so let's get started. So our first pose is the puffer fish. So we're going to sit down on our mats, crisscross applesauce, and we're going to put our hands out like, well actually put our hands like this together in our lap, sit up nice and tall, and now we're going to puff our cheeks in three times, in and out, ready, like a puffer fish. Deep breath in and out. One more puff. Great job. Okay. Our next pose is the octopus. So we're going to stay crisscross applesauce, but now we need to get our wiggling arms out and do eight arms. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to be seahorses. Okay. So for seahorses, you need to get up on your knees, okay, and then sit back a little bit. On your, once you're on your knees, sit back on your legs, put your arms up, and now try to arch your back back so that your stomach puffs out. You can also do it nice and tall and puff out like this, okay? We'll hold this for three. One, two, three. Poses, the lighthouse. Okay, let's get into our lighthouse pose. Get safely away from the shark. Take your tea light, put it on your head. Whoops, mine fell off. Let's try this again. Take your tea light, put it on your head. Put your arms up into your top of your lighthouse. And here we go, shark. S H A R K, shark. Good job. The next pose is the boat pose. This is a fun one. So, there's a couple of different ways you can do the boat pose. So, you, either way, you want to make sure you have your feet on the mat with your knees bent and your arms stretched up. Now, we're going to lift our feet up and we can either do gentle rocks like this or you can come all the way back. show you this a little bit closer. So you can see her knees are bent, her arms are out with her elbows bent. We're going to make sure that we have our lobster claws working. And here we go. Okay, I have my feet pointed out, my knees bent a little bit, my arms bent a little bit, my lobster claws. And let's do three chomps. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Now we're going to be a starfish, okay? So, feet pointing out with your legs apart and arms out. And if you want more of a challenge, you could try to lift one of your legs up like that, upside down, lift the other leg up and tilt to the other side. Oh, shark, get your lighthouse. Here we go, light up, tower up, S, 
H A R K spells shark. Great work. Now we're going to be a jellyfish. Okay, so to be a jellyfish, we need to be nice and loose and wiggly. So we're gonna make sure we bend over and that we hang our arms like they're very heavy and wiggly so that we can shake like the tentacles of the jellyfish. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. And now we're gonna shake one, two, three. The other way, up and down. One, two, three. <gasps> Shark, get your lighthouse. I have my lighthouse on my head. I have my tower on, and here we go. S H A R K spells shark. Okay, so that is the end of our shark and lighthouse yoga. I hope you had fun. Bye.